Hello, welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you joined us. Today is day 12 of our 30-day Around the Body journey together. We are moving the second time through the various body areas and will focus on poses to open our heart, including some binding poses. This class was originally created over three years ago, and you'll see some differences. Let's experience our chair yoga practice as a community together. Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you've joined us today. Coming to you from our YouTube channel Bottoms Down Chair Yoga. And if you haven't already, if you would click that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we're going to use our chair today, but we're also going to use a strap. Now, if you don't have a strap, a yoga strap, I get it. That's fine. I understand. But you can substitute a men's tie or a belt or a strap or a scarf. So, you know, anything that's kind of got some length to it would be just fine. Now, if you have your strap with you and you're going to use that, let's go ahead and place it under our chair. But I will tell you, if you don't want to use the strap, that's just fine. It's okay, right? Not a problem. All right. So let's get started. We're going to start by lifting that heart up nice and tall. We're going to pull that belly button into the spine. We're going to flip those palms up to the ceiling. Let's go ahead and take a moment to ground those feet to the earth. So we're thinking about those four pressure points that we have behind the big toe, behind the little toe, and the two points of the heel. And let's think about having all four of those pressure points equally weighted on the earth. And now we're going to ground those sits bones. So we have those pointy bones that we sit on, and let's make sure that we have them equally weighted on the chair. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Focus your attention on your heart center and just breathe. Just feel your natural inhalation and exhalation. And then let's elongate that breath, inhaling a little more deeply and exhaling a little more completely. Moving into that yoga breath, we're going to extend the belly as we fill the lungs from the bottom up. And we're going to exhale as we pull that belly button to the spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that two more times. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath, and release it. Very good. Go ahead and open your eyes. Let's drop that right ear to the right shoulder and just feel that stretch in the neck right here. You feel that? Nice. Let's drop our chin towards our chest. And left ear to left shoulder. Oh, yeah. I just felt my neck crack. Felt good. Let's go ahead and drop that chin back down to the sh chest. Now we're going to go ahead and look to the front of the room. Let's look over that right shoulder, just nice and gentle. We're warming things up. And look to the front of the room, and let's look the other way. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Look to the center of the room. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. And let's reverse those circles. Yeah, that feels good. 
Very nice. All right, let's come into a mountain pose. We're going to bring those hands down by our side. Remember, belly button is tight. Now, if you have shoulder issues, you're going to stay in this mountain pose. Or maybe you come to go post arms. Those are good options. If you're with me, we're going to take those hands straight up to the ceiling. Shoulders are down. We're trying to touch the ceiling with our fingertips. Belly is tight. One more breath and release it. Let's roll those shoulders. Let's add the breath. Inhale up. Exhale down and around. Inhale up. Exhale down and around and reverse it. Inhale up. Exhale down and around. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down and around. Very, very good. Okay, we're going to lean our mountain this time. So now, if you're here, you're just going to lean, right? And it's all good. If you've got goal post arms, you're going to do the same thing. All right? But if you're with me, we're taking those hands up to the ceiling. We're trying to touch the ceiling. We're going to take that one hand down, and we're going to stretch in each direction. Now you're going to put your hand on the chair, and you're going to lean into it. Oh, yeah. Let's add a twist. Turn and look up at the ceiling. Just a little baby twist. We're waking up the side waist muscles. You feel that? All right, take that twist out. Come back center. All right, let's everybody start in your mountain pose. Down we go. If you're with me, hands to the ceiling. Remember, you can keep the hands down or all goal post arms. Let's take that opposite hand on the chair. Lengthen and lean your mountain. Let's take a little baby twist. Take that twist out and up we go and roll those shoulders. Oh, yeah. Add that breath if you like it. And reverse it. Inhale here and exhale around. All right, real quick, a couple of cat and cows. Let's bring our hands down. So we want to get that spine warmed up, right? So we work. There's actually a real, there's a method to our madness. Let's move into that cat pose, rounding the chin. Excuse me, rounding the shoulders, tucking the chin. So there's a, 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 okay, lift up into that cow. What am I trying to say? A method to the madness, right? So we, we move through these opening poses in a certain way to warm up the body safely. Let's go back into that cat pose. And let's come back into cow, just taking those thumbs to the back wall. And release it. Very good. All right, let's do a little bit for the legs. We're going to open that knee nice and wide. We're going to let that knee fall down towards the floor. Push the foot behind you. Lift your heart up and breathe. Crescent lunge. Remember that knee can be down if that doesn't feel good to stretch it back behind you. Either is fine and release it. Let's do that one more time. Lifting that heart up. And release. Go ahead and face forward. Let's do that quick pyramid pose. Extend that leg out in front of you. Toes to the ceiling. Extend the spine long and let that heart fall forward. While you're down here, I want you to reach down and grab... Whoop! <laughs> I want you to grab your strap. My strap wasn't where I could actually grab it from that pose. Let's come back to the pyramid pose. Sorry about that. I should have had us grab our strap first. All right, now, if you have a strap, you're just going to put it on, on the ball of the foot. You're going to walk your hands down that strap and let that heart fall. If you don't have a strap, you're just going to do regular pyramid pose. It's okay. So all I'm doing is I'm kind of pulling gently, flexing that foot, maximizing that stretch. Oh, yeah, let's release it. All right, we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to put my strap here in my weight in my lap. So we're going to open up, let that knee fall down, push that foot back, lift your heart. Ha! Ah, feels good. Release it. Do it one more time. All right, let's face forward. Pyramid pose. Remember, you can just do it with that foot extended out, toes to the ceiling, extend the spine long, let the heart fall forward. And if you want to add the strap, we're just going to hook the strap around the ball of the foot. 
Walk our hands down. It will extend the spine long first. Walk your hands down gently. Ah, and I'm pulling ever so slightly to flex that foot. And release it. Go ahead and put your strap under your chair. Let's grab a sip of water. All right, we are now going to move into a crescent lunge again. This time we're going to be adding on. So we're going to take that right knee and we're going to open it up nice and wide. And then we're going to let that left knee fall down towards the floor. Remember, this version is great. If you want a little bit more, we're going to push that foot back behind us, kind of extending the back of the kneecap towards the ceiling and feeling a pretty good stretch here in the front of this leg. Okay, so facing over that front knee, bring your hands to your heart. So we're going to take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to extend those hands up to the ceiling. Now, take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, I want you to bring your arms to, to go post arms, and try to squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. We're looking up just slightly, okay? So I'm never, okay, breathe here. I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Let's bring those hands back down to heart and release it. Okay, so I want you to look at me real quick. Don't do this one, I just wanna show you real quick. So what we did, we came here, we went up, and we went into that go post arms and we squeezed. Now, I'm looking up, but I don't ever want you to just let the head go and look up, okay? So don't ever do that with your neck, it's not good. What's happening is I'm extending my spine and my head is just a natural extension of that spine. You see what's happening? As I'm looking up, I'm kind of getting that heart opening and that's what we're looking for in this pose, all right? So let's do that one more time on that side. Here we go. Knee down, push that foot back behind you, bring those hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, we're going to extend those hands up to the ceiling. Inhale here. On an exhale, bring those arms to go post arms. Extend up and look towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back for a full heart opening. One more breath and release and face forward. How did that feel, right? You're beginning to feel a little bit of that heart opening. I call it heart opening. We're really stretching through the chest and the shoulder muscles. All right, let's do the other side. Let's open it up nice and wide first. Okay, now we're gonna let that knee fall down. We're gonna push that foot back behind us. Bring your hands to your heart. All right, everybody good here? You got your position with that leg, your hands at heart. Here's the part there. We're adding on. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, hands to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, bend those elbows, move those shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back, look up slightly. Breathing here, just your natural breath. Don't worry about that yoga breath. One more breath, release it. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Are we ready? Here we go. Take that knee, put it in the position you want it. Maybe you can stretch it a little bit more now, right? We're warming up. We're getting maybe a little more flexibility in that front of that leg and that hip flexor. See if you can. All right, bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, hands to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, we're gonna look up at that ceiling. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades behind our back. We're breathing. One more breath and release and face forward. Whew, how does that feel? Everybody pretty good? All right, so the next series I just call a heart opener. <laughs> I don't know that there's a fancy name for it or anything or a Sanskrit name. But what I'm gonna do, I wanna show you from the side. I want you to continue facing me. I'm gonna turn to the side a little bit here so you can see me a little bit better as to what I'm doing. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna place them on the back of my chair. You see that? And they're in the seat of the chair, excuse me. The behind me, but on the seat of my chair. 
Now, I'm looking forward and all I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to lift my heart up and I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades behind my back and I'm looking up. So it's similar to what we just did in our crescent lunge with our arms. However, one more breath, pull that belly button in, come around and come down into a child's pose. So in your child's pose, your arms are gonna be on your, I'm gonna finish my thought here in just a second. In a child's pose, we're gonna come forward and we're gonna let our head fall and tuck the chin, okay? So what I was saying is, the little bit of difference that you will feel in this heart opening pose with your hands on the chair, let's come back up. The versus what we just did with crescent lunge is you can squeeze your shoulder blades behind you just a little bit more, all right? So see if you can do that. Here we go. Place that hand, the hands on the back of the chair. We're going to lift the heart first, all right? Do you feel the belly extend, uh, engaging the minute that heart lifts? Do you feel it? Right? Pull this belly button to the spine. Now, I want you to just squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. You can get a little more squeeze, can't you, with your hands in this position. That's the only difference between what we were doing a minute ago with those goalpost arms. We're looking up slightly. We're not letting that head go. We're squeezing. We're squeezing. One more breath. We're going to release it, and let's come back into that child's pose. So my hands are just resting. My arms are resting on my thighs, and I'm just kind of letting my head hang out. And if you are so inclined and you really want to move forward with this one, let your heart fall a little bit further, right? All right, roll it up slowly. Beautiful. Okay, so now the add-on to that heart opening pose is our shoulder, our hand, or our arm position, shoulder position, kind of all of it. So if you want to keep doing what we were just doing, that is absolutely fine. But if you want to add on with me, what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands, they're out to the side, my palms are facing in, okay? So my palms are, your palms should be facing me or the TV or whatever you're looking at, your computer. Bend your elbows and just lightly place those hands behind the head. You see what I did there? So now my fingers are not interlaced, right? Just have your head resting there. Actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. I want to do this one arm at a time, so I want you to take that left arm down first. We're going to start with the right arm, and I want you to just squeeze her. All I'm doing is I'm trying to push this elbow back to the back wall, all right? But don't twist. So we tend to want, we want to twist, right? I don't want you to do that. I want you to keep your hips forward, and all I want you to do is take that shoulder back. Oh my gosh, do you feel that? Holy cow, there's a lot of stretch in that shoulder. Oh yeah, one more breath, bring that shoulder forward, or that elbow forward, and bring it down. And let's do the other side. So I'm just going to take that hand out, palm is facing to, towards me, towards the camera, toward, or towards the TV, whatever you're watching. We're going to bend that elbow, put that hand back behind the head. Now I want you to just take your elbow and move it. Don't let these hips move, they want to, right? Everything wants to twist. Keep everything centered and just let that elbow be the one thing that moves. Oh my, what a stretch. All right, take that out and put it down. Okay, go ahead and roll those shoulders a couple of times. Now, you can keep doing that same thing one arm at a time, but if you want to move with me, we're going to do both. So here we go. Palms facing in, arms are wide, bend the elbows, place the hands behind the head, now here we go. We're trying to kind of touch our elbows behind us. Wow. Feel it? Heart opening, stretching. One more breath and release and roll those shoulders. Whew. I know that was, that's a pretty intense one for me. Very, very good. Okay. So now we're going to move into a seated camel pose. Again, I'm going to show you from the side. We just kind of have a lot going on <laughs> with movement in our back, and it's hard for you to see what I'm doing. You can't see behind me. So I'm, you stay facing me, and I want to turn to the side, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one hand. You can use your fist, or you can use your flat palm. It really doesn't matter. I think I'm going to use my fist just because, I don't know, just because that's what I feel like today. So I want you to put one hand on 
the side of your spine, okay? So you don't want the, the hand on the spine at all. You want it on the side of the spine. And we've got this big bone here, and it's kind of going to go right above that bone, so the fleshy part of the back. And then my other hand is going to go on the other side, the fleshy part of the back. Again, you can have those palms open if you prefer it, or you can have the fist. Either is fine. All right, so that's step one. Shoulders are down, heart is lifted. Now all you're going to do is you're going to push with your hands forward. So notice what's happening to my hips. My hips are tilting, aren't they? And now I'm looking up. So my heart is opening. I'm getting a little back bend. My belly is tight. My hips are tilted forward. It's quite a stretch. You may not feel too much right now, but here, hang on. All right, are you ready? Take it nice and gentle. We're going to release. Now we're going to come back into that child's pose, and I bet you feel it now. Come into that child's pose. My hands are resting on my thighs. My belly's going to fall kind of between my legs, and then I'm going to tuck my chin, let your head fall in child's pose. Do you feel the stretch now? It feels, it feels like you worked that back, didn't it? Yeah. All right, tuck your chin and roll it up slowly. Okay, and we're going to do that again, all right? Do you kind of feel it now? Put those hands, and maybe you try it with the, with the open palms this time. I don't care, right? It's all good. So the first thing I want you to do, though, is press forward first. So you kind of feel those hips thrusting forward. You're creating a, just a slight back bend. It's a very, very small, subtle back bend. Now, here's where you really get the, the opening of the heart. Pull those shoulders down and back and lift up, look up towards the ceiling, kind of where the ceiling and the wall meet. Don't let that head fall. Breathe. One more breath here. All right, first of all, we're going to pull the belly in and we're going to begin to round that spine and we're going to come back into that child's pose. Ha! So my hands are just hanging out here between my thighs. I'm letting my heart fall. Now, if you want a little bit more, you can let your hands fall towards the floor. It's okay, but it's just up to you, right? So here I am in an extended seated child's pose. Let your head fall. Don't hold the head. One more breath. We're going to tuck our chin, and we're going to roll it up nice and slow. Your head is the last thing to come up. And release. Okay, we're going to do one final thing before we <clears throat> finish up this segment. So I'm coming way forward in my, the seat of my chair, okay? And I'm going to heel toe my feet nice and wide. Kind of what feels good to you. It, you know, there's not like a set amount of space that this needs to be. All right, so kind of what we were doing with our child's pose, that this is going to be wide-legged. We're going to come forward. We're going to place those hands here on those thighs, and we're going to let that heart fall forward. Now, if this works for you, you're going to hang out right there and just feel great. It's good. It's a nice stretch. If you're with me and you feel okay, peek at me real quick here. Let's go ahead and look up at me, and I just want to show you what we're going to do. So all Rag Dog is doing, we're in that forward fold. We're going to grab our elbows. And so what happens when you're inverted, you know, you have those elbows, it kind of pulls. Gravity is helping pull you down. It's just a nice little nice stretch. Then we'll nod our head, and we'll shake our head no, and we'll nod our head yes, okay? All right, are we ready? Here we go. Down into that <clears throat> forward fold. I'm holding on. If you are so inclined, take your hands and place them on the floor. Let your head fall. Now, I'm going to reach up and I'm going to grab my elbows. Remember I showed you how that... Now, I don't know about you, but I immediately feel my back stretching more. Go ahead and nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Hang out just a couple more breaths. Place your hands on the floor. 
and we're going to roll up slowly. You can walk your hands up your legs if you want to, right? If you want to support that low back, that's fine. We're going to come all the way up to seated. We're going to bring our legs together. All right, let's grab a sip of water. <sighs> okay, everybody feeling good? We're going to continue with those heart opening poses with a bind. Now we're going to start with our just using our arms with this bind and then we're going to add on using our strap. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our right arm and we're going to bring it up into that goal post arm position. Okay? All right. Now, just take the palm of your hand and you're going to bring it down to where it's facing the floor. And then you're going to keep on going. So now your palm is facing the back wall. Do you see that? All right, let's do that one more time. So you start in that goalpost arm. Palm is facing out. Now the palm is facing down. Now the palm is facing back. And you've got a little hinge here. You see that? All right, now what I want you to do is we're going to take that hinge and we're going to bring it back behind our back. Now I'm going to turn and show you. Just you face me, okay? So what happens is as you come here, if you can come a little higher, so as I bring it up, if you can bring that up a little higher than the middle of the back, that's going to uh, be a better opportunity for you to increase the bind here. All right, so if that works for you, then try to get that hand a little bit higher. All right, now we're going to do the other side. You're like, oh, what is she doing now? Let's come back to that goalpost arm. Now this one, we've got this hinge already right here. We're not moving it. We've just got this hinge. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take this hand and we're going to hinge it back behind. Okay? So you see what I've done there? So this, this hand doesn't move. I've got this hinge, and now it's going to come back behind. Now the idea eventually is that your fingers touch and you pull. So I'm pulling with my top hand, and I'm pulling with my bottom hand, and I'm lifting my heart up. See that? I'm lifting my heart up. Now, if your hands don't touch, don't worry about it. You can still do the same thing. You're pushing. You're pushing with that back hand and with this top hand, and you're kind of pressing in, and you're opening up through those shoulders, all right? You feel it? You feel that opening? All right, let's take one hand down. Take the other hand down, and roll the shoulders. How does that feel? Okay, so I guarantee you, when we do it with the strap, it's actually, it makes it a little more accessible to everybody, because not everybody can touch those fingers together behind their back. I get it, believe me. But if you don't have your strap, that's what you're gonna keep on doing. But let's do the other side first, so we have to, we have to do it equally. So now we're gonna take that left arm, and we're gonna have that goalpost arm first. Palm faces down, palm faces to the back, and we've got our hinge. Got it? All right, here we go. We're gonna take this arm, and we're gonna bring it up behind our back. We're gonna take this other arm to goalpost. We've got this hinge happening here, and now we're gonna just take that hand and bring it back behind, right? And so now you've got that, the clasping happening. You're pressing through. You're opening up that heart. So that's what binds are for, to help us open up. Opening up that heart. Give it one more breath. We're going to release one hand, release the other hand, and roll those shoulders. Okay, so see how that feels. And remember, that can be a great option for you. If you want to do that one, it is great. Now, Using the strap will actually make this a little more accessible to you, okay? So if you have that strap handy, I encourage you to use it. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take our left hand and I want you to bring it to where the palm is facing out. So my thumb is towards the floor. Do you see that? My thumb is hinging here and it's towards the floor. All right. 
Now I'm going to hook my strap into my thumb, and now I've kind of got that locked in, if you will. But I want you to keep this palm open. Now, you're going to bring it around your body, okay? So you're bringing it around your body. You're going to bring that hand back around so the palm is behind your head. Got it? Now, the other hand is going to be at that um, goal post. Palm faces down. Palm faces back. Hinge, 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 remember? Now bring that hinge, when you're hinging, now bring it back behind, grab that strap. Now you've got the option, right, of pulling. You can pull this strap up and this strap down, and you're doing the same thing. You're just using the strap instead of trying to use your hands. So I'm opening up that heart. You got it? Does that make sense? Do you feel it? You feel the stretch? Heart opening, one more breath, relax this right hand first, bring that strap back around and down. Whew, all right. We're gonna do the other side now. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so let's take this arm up, go post arm. Actually, my mistake, bring it in front of your face and you've got that thumb hinge here happening, right? Got that thumb hinge. All right, we're going to grab the strap and we're going to put it right in that thumb. We're going to close that hinge off. Keep that palm open. Now bring it around your body. All the way to the back. So now the back of my hand is on the back of my head. Now this opposite arm, we've got the palm facing out first. Remember that. Palm faces down. Palm faces back. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Ready? Take that hinge, reach back, and grab your strap. Okay? So now I'm pulling up with this hand, and I'm pulling down with this hand, and I'm opening up. You got it? One more breath, and release. And bring those arms down. Very good. Okay. My strap is stuck on my chair. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put my strap under my chair for right now. We're going to come back to it here in just a minute. So we're going to move into a side angle pose. So side angle pose is another heart opening pose. We're going to take that right knee and we're going to open it nice and wide. And we're going to take our right forearm and we're going to place it on that leg. Palm is facing up. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do, and, and this ear is kind of down towards the, the mat, okay? So you don't want to hold your head up. You want to go ahead and let that head kind of fall down too. Not down, right? So we're lifting up out of that shoulder. You got it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend that opposite arm long. Now go ahead and take the hand that's in the air, and I want you to bring it to your waist first. And I want you to lift your heart up. You feel that? There's your natural heart opening right there. Now extend that hand if you want to. All right, so here we are in a side angle pose. Very, very nice. So in addition to this side angle pose, if you so desire, is we're going to let the wrist of the hand that's here on that thigh, we're going to let it fall down towards the ankle. But I don't want you to lose your heart opening. So if to get this this hand down by the ankle, you end up down here, I, I, that's not the idea, right? So I want you to lift up. I don't care how far down this wrist comes. And it can stay right here as far as I'm concerned. That's great. This is just if you want a little bit more. But you can't, not at the expense of losing that heart opening. All right? Are you ready? Let's take this hand back to the waist. Let's lift up and come out of our side angle pose. Okay, very good. Let's do the other side. We're going to bring that knee forward and then we're going to add the bind. I want you to feel it first before we add the bind. So we're going to open up nice and wide first, okay? Again, the fleshy part of this arm is going to come on the fleshy part of that leg, okay? And now the right arm is just going to extend up. 
Take the hand that's in the air, go ahead and place it on your waist and open up that heart. There you go. You feel that? Now, just extend that arm. So I want that to be a natural extension. So all this shoulder and through that arm is all in alignment. Now, if you so desire to take this left wrist down by that left ankle, that's fine. But remember, you can't collapse in on yourself. That's not the idea. You've got to keep that heart open. Pull that belly button to spine. Really work those center waist muscles. Side waist muscles are working too, aren't they? Ready? All right, let's bring that hand back up. Bring this hand back down to your side and step out of it. All right, did that feel pretty good? All right, we're going to add the bind to that now. So go ahead and grab your strap, place it in your lap for right now. We're going to move into the into our pose first, and then we'll add that bind. Okay, so take that right knee and open it nice and wide. Now go ahead and take the fleshy part of this right arm and let it rest on that thigh. And go ahead and get into your uh, side angle pose, all right? So the first one we're going to do, we're going to do a bind just using our hand. So if you don't have the strap, this is where you'll stay. So remember how we came up? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the hand in the air and we're going to hinge right at that elbow and we're going to bring that palm into the center of the back. And maybe it lifts up. Remember when we did that, that bind a minute ago and how we kind of lifted the hand up a little bit higher? So maybe it's not here. Maybe it's here. Right? And open up. So there's an option. That's a beautiful bind. And if you want to be right here, that is great. Now, if you're with me, we're going to add on to that bind, all right? So we're going to grab our strap. Actually, you have to kind of come up out of it so I can show you. <laughs> You've got your palm facing out. You've got that hinging thumb facing down towards the floor. We're going to place that strap into that hinge. We're going to close it up, all right? Now, come back down into your side angle pose. We're going to take this hand with the strap and we're going to bring it all the way around. See how it's coming around my body? Now it's coming around to my back. And again, I've got that hand kind of back behind my head. My heart is open. Okay, here's the tricky part. <laughs> the hand that's on the thigh, you're going to reach down and you're going to grab that strap. And now you're going to open. So I'm pulling down with my right hand and I'm pulling up with my left hand, and there is your bind. All for that heart opening. That's the whole idea of these of this particular pose, right? Side angle pose with a bind, heart opening. One more breath. Go ahead and release with your right hand, release the strap, come back up, give yourself some support with the right hand on that right thigh. Let's bring that arm around and come up. How did that feel? All right. And let's bring that knee forward and we're going to do the other side. So we're going to open up that leg. Okay. So remember, let's just do it. Let's go ahead and come into that side angle pose first just to kind of get the feel of it. Let's take this hand up to the ceiling. Now, the hand that's in the ceiling, we're going to bring that hand back behind it's either in the small of the back, or if you can, lift it a little bit higher, do so, but the heart is lifted, and here you are in a side ankle pose with a bind. How does it feel? Does it feel pretty good? Lifting that heart up? Feel that? We are, we've been working through the chest a bit now, so you probably are feeling a little more open into that chest. That's great. All right, let's go ahead and release it, and we're going to add the strap. All right. So now, <clears throat> we're going to take the right hand, right? You've got that, you've got your thumb to the bottom, facing the bottom. You're going to go ahead and hook that thumb into the, or the strap into the thumb and close it up. Come back down into that side angle pose. Now, you're going to take the hand with the strap. It's going to come all the way around your body. Bring that hand behind your head and hang out here for just a moment. Heart is open. Now, if you want to, you're going to reach down with this hand and you're going to grab that strap 
and you're going to pull. So I'm pulling this bottom hand down and this top hand up, and I'm really lifting through the heart. So there's the bind. We're breathing. One more breath. Go ahead and release that hand. Release and come up. Very, very good. How does everybody feel? All right. Okay, let's go ahead and set our um, strap down. And let's grab a sip of water. Ah, how's everybody feeling? Good. All right, we're going to finish up now. Let's take that right knee. We're going to open it up nice and wide. Feel that inner thigh stretch. Now, the main thing to remember in our half Lord of the Fishes pose is that we don't want this knee to fold in. It's going to want to, but I want you to really try hard not to let it. All right, let's take this arm, this left arm, bring it all the way across your body. You're going to grab your chair, lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling, and then you're going to look over the back of your chair. Let's release that and do it one more time. Come all the way across your chair. Lift and twist. And release. Crescent lunge, knee towards the floor. Push the foot behind you. Lift your heart up. One final heart opening while we're here. Let's lift that heart up. Feel that stretch. Let's release it. And we're going to do that one more time. Here we go. Back of the kneecap to the ceiling. Lift that heart up. And if you want to add those arms, you can. It's your choice. Squeezing, looking up. One more breath and release. Let's face forward. We're going to extend that leg out in front of us, toes to the ceiling. Lift the heart up and let the heart fall forward. If you want to use that strap, go for it. I'm not going to this time, but if you want to, it's great. Let's go ahead and lift the heart up, and we're going to do that one more time. Don't forget to extend first, then keeping the back flat, let the heart fall forward. And release. Good job. Okay, we're going to do our pigeon pose now. So remember, if you cross ankle to ankle, that's great. But I want you to leave this leg right where it is. Don't bring that foot in, okay? Keep that leg out and cross. Or if you're with me, I'm going to cross my ankle onto my knee, all right? Now, I'm going to extend my spine long. I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling the stretch right here. And this may be all you want. If you want a little more, you're just going to let your heart fall forward. So it's totally your choice, right? If you stay lifted, heart lifted, or let the heart fall forward, if you keep the back flat, you're going to maximize the stretch. Go ahead and lift it up, and let's just flutter that butterfly today. All right, let's do that again. Extend the spine long, and let the heart fall forward. If you want to press gently on that knee, go for it. You can even put your elbow there and put your chin on those fingers and press. It's all good, right? It's a good option. Let's release that and let's flutter that butterfly again. We're going to do it one more time. You've got options. And you can even, if you like it, you can extend those arms out towards the wall in front of you and then let them fall towards the floor. It's a good option if you like it. Go for it. If you want to keep your hands on the thighs, go for it. If you've got choices, that's all I'm saying. And up we go. Very good. Let's put that leg down and move to the other side. Open that knee nice and wide. Remember, keep this knee open. Right hand is going to come all the way across our body. We're going to grab the chair, crown of the head to the ceiling, turn and look over the back of your chair. And let's release that, and we're going to do that again. Bring that hand across your body, 
lift and twist. And release, very good. Crescent lunge, knee to the floor. Press the foot back if you like it. Heart is lifted. We're breathing into the stretch. We're really warm so we can maximize the stretch in the front of that leg. Let's release it and then let's do that again. Adding those arms if you like it. Squeezing the shoulder blades behind us. One final heart opener today. We have worked so hard. Beautiful. One more breath and release and face forward. Pyramid pose. Extend that leg in front of you, toes to the ceiling. Lift and hinge. And remember, if you want to grab your strap and use that, do it. Let's lift that heart up and we're going to do that one more time. Extend and hinge. This would be your exhale if you want to add that breath. Oh, yeah. After that downward facing puppy, we may have a little more availability in those hamstrings today. All right, let's come up to pigeon pose. Did y'all like downward facing puppy? I love that one. All right, remember, you can be here or you can have that ankle on that knee. Extend and hinge. And up we go and let's flutter that butterfly. Let's do that again. Extend and hinge and if you want to press gently on that knee you can. You can even put that elbow there if you like it. And release it and let's flutter that butterfly. And our final version. Extend up first and maybe you bring those hands out to the wall in front of you and then down to the floor if you like that version. That's a great version. If you don't like that version, pick a different one. And release. All right. Let's go ahead and sit back in our chair. Place your hands lightly on your thighs. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. A deep breath in. And on this exhalation, close your eyes. Flip your palms to the ceiling. Embrace your consequences. Be thankful when your mistakes result in negative consequences because you'll quickly learn not to make those mistakes. Be thankful when you do not instantly get whatever you want. The need to work for what you have is what gives meaning and value to the good things in your life. Be thankful when someone criticizes something you've said or done. Honest feedback gives you the opportunity to improve. Be thankful when another person disagrees with you. Your perspective can grow stronger and more compelling when you must defend it from challenge. Those who become soft and weak are those who always get their way, who leave their messes for others to clean up. Those who become highly effective are those who must directly connect to the consequences of their actions. Embrace the consequences of what you think, say, and do. Those consequences will continually force you to do even better. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands and give the head a gentle tug. Release. 
release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Remember, go to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga on YouTube. Click on that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, and I will see you next time.